Hi, my name is Eric Jackson. I'm an independent artist that lives here in Leonardtown, Maryland. I'm a fiber artist and most of my work involves wildlife that is native to the mid-Atlantic region. Um, and my latest project that you see going around town is these uh, series of banners that are all inspired by the new Leonardtown Butterfly Trail. Uh, we started the project early in the spring I live in town and as I walk and jog through town, I was always thinking about the way that the town is kind of ebbing and flowing through 2020 and 2021 uh, and how things seem to change over time, especially now during 2021 in the spring. And so I started thinking about this theme of like re-emergence and how uh, things are coming back to life it seems like, both just in nature and also just with us going about town. And so my original idea I approached the town with was an idea of, of plants and, and native species of plants that are, are back to life after the winter. And But come to find out that the town has adopted this new theme of butterflies and caterpillars, which became a really natural connection um, for what I was thinking. And so we started brainstorming, going back and forth, and everything just really clicked really easily about um, creating this series of banners and flags that all use the theme of butterflies and caterpillars as part of the new town's butterfly trail. I'm a fiber artist, which means all of my work is done on natural fibers, and all of these banners were done on heavy cotton fiber. The unique thing about fiber art is that your colors are embedded into the fibers themselves as opposed to painted on the surface, which was really beneficial for these banners because it allowed me to make each piece two-sided. So what you see on one side of the banner is also reflected on the other side of the banner, as opposed to a painting where you would just paint it on one side and the back would be blank. So it worked out really well for this, for this outdoor themed exhibit. Uh, I use a wax resist process called batik where I melt wax into the fibers in order to protect it from the colors that I dye it. So each piece is done in layers. So I'll wax over anything I want to stay white in the beginning. And then I dye it yellow in this one behind me. Then I wax over the yellow parts in the butterfly, put it into a blue dye to get the greens. And then once the greens were dry, waxed over the greens and put it into a black dye in order to get the black parts of the butterfly. So each piece is done step by step. I'm working on the whole piece at once instead of painting individual sections one area at a time. So it was a really time consuming process. All in all, we ended up executing 20 hand-dyed banners, 
that were then uh, reproduced as banners for other places in town. The banners overall, it took about a month of work time, but we started brainstorming the project back in the early part of spring. Everything came together pretty quickly throughout May and into the middle part of June where we're now installing them on a beautiful day here in town. Hi, welcome to Leonard Town. We're out putting up the beautiful banners and flags for the new butterfly trail. We hope you come out and rediscover Leonard Town. Come on out. So please come out into Leonard Town and check out the butterfly trail. You'll see banners all across town down to the wharf and down all the other streets. Uh, you'll also be able to see my work online at Bay Fibers Studio and you can find me on Instagram at Bay Fibers. Come to Leonardtown and check it out. They'll be up all summer and it's a beautiful time to see what's happening in town.